hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well in today's video i share my very quick and simple coated peanut recipe with you all let's get started as i take you through my ingredients all right so i have some salt sugar nutmeg and butter flavor cornstarch baking powder all-purpose flour egg homemade roasted peanuts and some fresh peanuts so to begin i'm going to go ahead and blanch my peanuts by bringing some water to a boil to that i'll add some salt and the peanuts let it cook for about two minutes and we're just going to drain the water out and spread it on a tray to dry for about an hour or two you could leave it under a fan and it'll be even faster next in a bowl i'm going to add my flour and cornstarch mix it well and set it aside in a separate bowl i'm going to add my egg sugar salt baking powder nutmeg and butter flavor and give it a good mix to this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk. You could use whole milk or um, evaporated milk, it doesn't matter. To this, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of my cornstarch and flour mix, but you don't wanna add it at the same time. You wanna add mix, check the consistency, and this is the consistency that I'm going for. So we are ready to go. Our peanuts are ready, our batter is ready, and our flour mix is ready. So in a bowl, I add the peanuts, and then I add my batter. Mix well, and then we're going to sprinkle with some of our cornstarch flour mix shake it around very well until each peanut is coated if some are sticking together you want to use a spatula or a fork like i'm doing to separate it and it is done but before frying you want to make sure that you take it out of the crumbs that were created when you were coating your peanut so i put it in a mesh strainer and kind of shake it into a separate plate to leave the crumbs behind i don't want to put all that crumbs in my oil and that is done now in case you have some sticking you want to use your spatula to separate it like this you can use a fork also but i have this mini spatula that i like to use for this purpose and while you separate you mix it so dry flour can coat it one more time so it doesn't stick back together or you can dust your fingers with flour you know the cornstarch flour mix and use that to separate it just like this and it works as well now if you want to do a second coating you have to take it out from the crumbs again because you don't want to just put your batter into the um onto the peanuts with that crumbs it will stick to it and you will not have a nice presentation so once that is done you can then go ahead and add more batter to it mix well dust it with your flour cornstarch mix and continue the process i also found out that cornstarch is known as corn flour in ghana so if you go to buy it ask for corn flour all right now a third way you can make this is by putting your peanuts directly into the batter and using a slotted spoon scoop it into the cornstarch flour mix mix it well use a different slotted spoon to just scoop it out and shake it around to get them to be round all right i used the fork because i wasn't making a lot but try all these methods and see which one works best for you either the batter onto the peanut and then mix and then add the flour or the peanut into the batter and then scoop out into the flour and see which one you like best and there you have it now we're ready to fry you want to set your stove on medium low okay check the oil to ensure that it's at a perfect temperature you do not want to fry this on high heat at all because it will 
cook so fast on the outside but the inside will not be cooked at all and you don't want that making this takes time and so you don't want to go through all the coating and everything and then end up burning it so be patient with it make this on the day that that's the only thing you want to do for that day okay and you, you want to stare all the time because they're so tiny if one side begins to cook it becomes heavy and it weighs um, down so when you turn it will flip over to the cooked side and it will keep burning so you want to stir it nicely until it is a nice golden brown color just like this now at this point you want to begin getting it out of the oil and allowing the residual heat to continue cooking it because once um, food come out of oil it continues to cook and if you cook it until your preferred brownness it will get darker than how it was when you took it out so i'm just going to get mine out and set it aside to cool completely and that's it here i show you what happens when your oil is way too hot Now this is real time. I did not fast forward this or slow it down or anything. I just want you to see how quickly it cooked. Now do you think this is cooked? It is not cooked at all. The outside is nicely brown. You should be getting it out of the oil but it's not done and you will be forced to get it out and your guests will bite into it and it'll be soft and it'll be raw and you don't want that. So now to me, using um, roasted peanuts is the best way to go. I showed you how I was taught growing up to make it, which is blanching the peanuts and making it from raw. It's still perfect. It still comes out good, but to guarantee your crunch, you can go ahead and use roasted peanuts and skip the blanching part. And on your holiday table, wouldn't it be pretty to use this as a centerpiece? Cause we enjoy this most of the time with um, chips, Ghana party chips or savory ching ching make some pair it together and you can never go wrong this way thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajili thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unamini uchemi sweete mahabotu bye y'all